Yo, what up, YouTube? It's the Lore Master. We're back at it with another episode of the Orville. It's the season finale. Um, I got a maybe an interesting take on this. I, at least I think so. Um, this episode, it's I felt like it should have been like the show finale or something like that. It didn't feel like a season finale. I felt like something that they would end the show on and just like like never come back to it, like a the show finale. That's kind of what I got out of it. I think last week's episode would have been better for the season finale, but the things that they do in this episode with bringing back the Kalon and stuff like that, it wouldn't really make sense. So like, I get why we had last week's episode and then to go into this week's episode. So I get that. It's just, I feel like last week's would have been better for a season finale and this would have been better for a show finale. With that being said, it was uh, it was kind of like a happy episode. Everything is just like happily ever after now since the Kalon war is over and stuff like that. So that's kind of where uh, I was getting like the show finale from and it's like people are moving on. They're like getting on with their lives now. But uh, with all that aside, let's kind of get into the episode a little bit. Uh, it starts out with Clyden and uh, Mortis or whatever they miss, the Mocklin crew people. They are getting married again since they kind of broke up. They're having a marriage thing again. Uh, it's kind of a weird scene to start out with. They run through the woods naked pretty much and chase each other to get married. That's their little thing. And then uh, the rest of the episode is just uh, Isaac and uh, Claire, the doctor. They are like, Isaac proposes to her. So this kind of like just the crew figuring out the wedding and like them planning the wedding and stuff like that. Yeah, it wasn't, there wasn't really much that happened. It was just like the whole episode was just them kind of like planning the wedding and then getting, then getting to the wedding. There was a little surprise along the way because, you know, Isaac doesn't know, uh, all the human customs so he was kind of like experimenting with stuff and just trying to figure out what to do and yeah and then it was the crew kind of going back and forth like should they get married or not there was a, a little side plot to this episode and the fact that they go back to a planet they went to season one i think it was uh it was one of the episodes where they went to a society and they could like vote you down or vote you up or whatever like depending on whatever the society thought so they go back to that planet and they pick up uh just a random chick that they met there the cafe worker that saved uh lamar back in that episode it was i think it was season one so yeah they pick her up um since that culture is a uh, not like advanced enough they can't do anything it would be like breaking the prime directive kind of like from like star trek or whatever so they can't do anything about her planet so they'll she seeks asylum to the orville but then she's kind of regretting it and she wants to go back she tries to steal some uh technology to give it to her people so then they kind of sit her down and be like yo we can't give advanced technology to your society because they'll end up destroying themselves with it she learns that lesson and then we kind of move on from that and then it's back to the wedding stuff and then we finally see uh isaac kind of made a little uh, a funny little joke there where he invited the entire kalon planet to his wedding so then the orville surrounded by four thousand kalon ships that was kind of funny because he didn't understand that like you only need to invite a couple people not the entire planet yeah but we get we get onto the wedding and uh yeah it was just a little happy episode not much to it again that's kind of where i felt like it, it would have been better for a a show finale because it's like kind of leaves it open and everyone's happy and then you can you can kind of put your imagination to where you feel like it goes on from there but i'm pretty sure we're getting to season four so it's not a show finale so we'll have to see where it goes for sh season four uh last week i kind of thought that maybe we'd see those aliens that we saw from episode one or two the one where they go to krill space or whatever and they go to that like negative space or whatever in their in their, in their space uh where there was those like aliens that kind of like took over people i thought we might see some of those come back maybe that's the villain for season four or something we'll have to wait for uh season four to come out but my overall thought for for season uh three of orville was they've expanded the entire all the episodes for, instead of being 45 minutes tv show episodes that's now like an hour and a half to hour episodes and with that comes a lot of filler like most of the show uh at least the first last week's episode there was not much filler this week was yeah you can kind of argue there's a little bit um like maybe the whole uh chick that from the voting system plan or whatever that, that whole plot kind of was filler because it's like wh why do we need her Maybe she's important in season four. Don't know. We'll have to wait and see about that. But that's my overall complaint with this season. Is there's just a lot of conversations and filler that's not really needed to like expand the story or whatever. So it's like they could like wrap this up and make like 45 minute or 50 minute episodes and not hour and a half episodes if they just cut out a lot of 
boring stuff that doesn't really matter. Um, that's kind of what I got out of this entire season. Uh, there were some good episodes. Uh, my favorite was the one, I think it was episode three, the one where they go to that like holographic planet, but it turns out it's uh, a chick from episode, or from season two, the one where it was like the planet that like evolves every like, evolves a hundred years for every like minute or whatever. And Kelly was like a worshipped as a god back on that planet. We kind of got her back for uh, that holographic planet episode because they're so advanced now. That was a fun episode. I really liked that one. Um, yeah, that's probably my favorite episode out of uh, Orville season three. Let me know your alls down below. And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of my general thoughts for this episode and this season. Again, let me know what you all think about it. Yeah, it's Orville season three. Can't wait for season four. Hopefully it'll be a little better because I wasn't a big fan of the season. But uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, do all the fun YouTube stuff, and uh, we'll catch you next time.